serenity. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to speak to someone who calls herself the holder of serenity. The worker should sigh and rub their forehead in annoyance, but will proceed to stand up and instruct you to follow them. You'll be led to a glass door that presumably leads to some sort of backyard. Upon opening the door, you will be engulfed in impenetrable darkness, the only light being very faint and extremely distant. Head towards that light. As you proceed, you may begin to notice several noises from all around you. They are nostalgic, the sound of children laughing, the sound of bike bells chiming, the sound of crickets chirping, etc. Do not turn your attention away from the light for even a moment, for if you do, you will find that the invisible surface you walk on no longer exists, and you will fall through darkness for eternity, surrounded by endless silence. Should you reach the light without surrendering to temptation and curiosity, you will find yourself in the middle of a large, seemingly endless field in the middle of night, illuminated by a large crescent moon. All around you will be pale yellow flowers swaying slightly in the warm summer breeze. Directly in front of you is a girl with long blonde hair and a white dress, who has her back turned to you. In her hand is a flower, but it is dark purple and very visibly dead. Approach the girl, but do not touch her. Say to her, what is their ultimate purpose? A small chuckle should escape the girl's lips, and she'll turn to face you, revealing the rotted remains of her face her teeth are yellow and smeared, her mouth forever frozen in a skeletal smile, and one eye dangles from its socket. In her forehead is the hilt of a blade permanently embedded in her skull. The wind will blow slightly, and a scream should sound in the distance, echoing all across the meadow. At this point you should feel as though a million knives are stabbing you from all over but do not flinch. The pain is but a hallucination, and surrendering to it will drive you insane. After several agonizing seconds, the pain will stop. A gust of intense wind will push the girl into you, and as her hand touches yours, you will be surrounded by a feeling of absolute peace. You'll find yourself standing outside the institution which you entered so long ago. In your hand is the dark purple flower, now vibrant with life. The flower is object number 350 or 538. Its very presence is soothing to the soul.